2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Pelicans know their fans will be fired up for tonight's action. And as they came into the building, the players were plenty fired up themselves. Plenty happening down on Bourbon Street tonight, as always. A view which can only mean we're here in New Orleans. Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. Joining me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. I'm Brian Anderson, along with reporter Ali LaForce. We are now into November, so let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. Taking a look at Los Angeles. It's a long season, but right now they're in great position, holding that prize top spot. And check it out, New Orleans, six and a half games back. When I look at the Clippers, I think they're the team you dread having to play. I mean, they've been performing at just about their best in every game so far this season. We figured that by this point in the season, they would have separated themselves from the pack. They've done that. Before we get started, we've got just enough time to head over to the sideline. Allie? Thanks, Brian. Well, Kawhi Leonard didn't come into the league as a go-to scorer, but that's what he's become. He said it's just about taking advantage of the moment. Keep going to your spots, keep shooting, be aggressive for the team, and don't shy away, pretty much. That's what I take pride in, he said. Guys? He is elite. Thanks much for that, Allie. And some new faces and new places this year, Grant. How long do you think it takes for a new player to fit in? Well, you know, some players never fit in, but depending upon the style, it varies from player to player. So the opening lineup here for the Clippers. George and Leonard at the two and the three. Morris and Zubats play together in the front court. And it's Jackson in at the point guard position. And for the Pelicans, it's Graham and Alexander Walker at the one and the two. Zion at power forward with Valanchunas at center. And it's Hart in at the three. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. George outside. Pass to Leonard. Shoots over Hart. Jackson outside. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Valanchunas. Here's Zubats. Back to Leonard. Leonard double teamed. And here's Jackson. Fires the three. That doesn't go either for Jackson. Here's Alexander Walker. 15 in his last outing. Here's Hart. It's rebounded by Zubats. Now Los Angeles with it. You know, Josh Hart won't wow you with the scoring or flashy plays. But he does all the little things for his teams. A 6-5 wing, Hart was one of the best rebounders in the league in the 2021 season. That number really jumps out at you here for someone his height. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Hey, great communication on the line. It's clear that Zion knows his strengths. Good at sensing when he should shoot it. Leonard against Hart. Leonard passes to George. Back to Leonard. Pass to Zubats. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Now, when we talk about Hart, Smitty, he's been underrated, it seems, from the moment he entered the league. You're right, B.A. Playing four years in college, he was the final pick of the 2017 first round. What a value pick that's turned out to be. Jason's outperformed a bunch of guys who went in the top ten. Williamson passes to Valanchunas. Pass to Alexander Walker. Pulls up on the wing, and he wills that one in, sinking it right through the back of the iron. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of three from the floor. Now here's George. Great D 
tee that time from Williamson. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Graham, stolen by Jackson. And it's the Clippers on the break. Here's Leonard. Yes, and it's George oh, picking up the assist. The power, the length, the ability to finish. Leonard dominant in that painted area. Pass to Hart. Outside Graham. 4-3. Valanchunas passes to Williamson. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. A bit undersized. His hops make him a legit small ball four. Here's Jackson. Basket's good. Reggie Love Jackson. that by Reggie Jackson. The floater is a natural move for him. Here's Alexander Walker. George defending. The putback. It's good on the putback. Time out, time out. <laughs> Those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. You know, something Zion Williamson was at the forefront of was helping arena workers affected by the COVID pandemic. He set an unbelievable example with his generosity. Gomez is checked in for Valanchunas. Hayes comes in for Zion Williamson. Marshall, he's checked in for Hart. And it's Sadoransky in for Alexander Walker. And you're referring to Zion's pledge to pay the salaries of so many workers furloughed during that trying time. NBA Zion's effort led to a lot of other NBA players following suit. It was great to see just how much NBA players care about their communities and the people behind the scenes. Hernan Gomez. And it's blocked by Ibaka. And it's Kennard on the take. That drops. And it comes off and assists from Bledsoe. What vision from Bledsoe. A point who can score it and dish it. 144 left in the first quarter. Graham with it. And it's Bledsoe picking him up. Let's it fly from 18. That one doesn't drop. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Their first chance this season playing the Pelicans. Last year, as expected, they had very little trouble against these guys. Batum in the post. Graham covering. And they take the lead. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. 103 left to play in the first. Pass to Hayes. Over Kennard. Hayes, shot's good. There's 53 seconds left in the opening quarter. Bledsoe against Graham. Kennard outside. Clock at six. Here's Ibaka. That shot, no good. Great D that time from Sadoransky. Graham against Bledsoe. Pass to Marshall. Here's Sadoransky. Here's Hayes. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. At the line for New Orleans, Jackson Hayes taking two shots.
shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. The Pelicans making a switch here. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Bledsoe outside. To the paint. Here's Ibaka. No good off the back of the rim. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one. The Pelicans on top. They lead by two. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And guys, what's your take on the Pelicans so far? It was pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. You can do everything else right, but if you fail to take care of the defensive glass, you're killing your chances. On the floor for the Clippers. Nicholas Batum out there with Terrence Mann. Then it's Luke Kennard. Then there's Eric Bledsoe. And it's Ibaka in it to five. Good drive. For a big point guard, Sadoransky has a surprisingly quick first step. Here's Bledsoe. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. They're coming off a loss against Miami. That comeback they mounted in the fourth quarter looked so promising. I thought for sure they'd pull it off. It just didn't happen. Pass to Marshall. Hayes with it. 11 points for him last game against Miami. His shot blocking dominated the game. His three blocks really had an effect on defense. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Bledsoe outside. There's the drive. And no good. Great D that time from Sadoransky. Here's Temple. The shot, no good. And Los Angeles the other way now. Last game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. It's simple. Your defense has to be razor sharp on the road. You really want to take the crowd out of the game. Easier said than done. Yes, the other team is feeding off that enthusiasm. You have to try and match that energy. And the Pelicans call time here. All right, Grant, if you could be GM for one rebuilding team right now, which would it be? Oh, wow. That's tough. I mean, you got the Grizzlies with Moran. You got the Pels with Zion. You got the Mavs with Doncic. You know, I'll probably stick with the Pelicans and Zion Williamson. I think he has a lot to offer and has the ability to dominate in this league. for a different look here. Valanchunas, he's checked in for Hernan Gomez. Zion Williamson comes in for Hayes. Hart's checked in for Marshall. And it's Alexander Walker in for Sadoransky. Oh, George with a steal! Jackson outside. And they recover it. They get it back. Here's Zubats. And finally, that one's good. Zubats has gotten a second bucket on the night. 
have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Over to the wing. Here's Williamson, knocked away. Just five on the clock, outside Hart. In transition, here come the Clippers. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. Incredible effort by Kawhi. Picks it up with the claw, then off to the races. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. And you look at how Kawhi goes about his business. No social media, no big presence. Just does his thing and let his game do the talking. Nearly unstoppable. No matter where the pass is delivered, Zion will go up and get it. You can't fault the play call. Even though he could convert, that's a good shot. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Pelicans. Zion Williamson. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. What you respect about Zion, he's not trying to flex on everyone. He sees the big picture on the court and in the public eye. Graham's checked in for the Pelicans. And that's good as he hits both shots. Three minutes of action thus far on the second. And he lobs it up top. And the jam oh, by George. The trust George has built with his team. They know he'll finish strong if they feed him. Pass to Williamson. And they double up Williamson. Graham for three. And the Pelicans miss again. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Leonard gets the bucket. Kawhi, you see the focus from Kawhi. When he's deep inside, he's locked in on scoring. Here's Alexander Walker. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. Graham against Jackson. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. George outside. Yes! And a nice oh, assist George. from Jackson. Three points. George has got five points in the quarter. The mechanics on Paul George's shot are so good. In the end, the range makes no difference. Outside Grant. Pass to Williamson. He can't get that one to fall. Ooh, nice D from George. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It'll be on Zion Williamson. Power move from PG-13. He's added a lot of muscle to his frame over the years, putting it to good use right there. Good from George. The consummate team player. Paul George is an excellent leader, and he's cool to let others lead also. The Pelicans making a switch here. Hayes is checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. The Pelicans trail. 
Outside Hart. Pass to Alexander Walker. Here's Hart. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Ibaka. On offense, here are the Clippers. They're on a 15-6 run. With a high basketball IQ and improving playmaking abilities, Luke's groin as a distributor. The Pelicans have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Clippers. It looks like they're ready to run today, fellas. They keep getting out on the break whenever they can. You know what else, guys? Defensively, they've been able to call some turnovers tonight and Shoot turn two. them into points. And he makes a first. Some changes for New Orleans. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Valanchunas. And it's Marshall in for Hart. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Man, he's checked in for Paul George. Both good from the line that time. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. The Clippers have gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. 43 seconds left in the first half. To the inside. Shots good by Bledsoe. Bledsoe's got his first points of the night. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. And here's Graham. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Six to shoot. 13 feet out. Ooh, great D that time from Ibaka. Nice shot by Kennard. And now a seven-point Clipper lead. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Here's Alexander Walker. It's rebounded by Ibaka. Ibaka's got four rebounds now. And that shot off the mark. And we finished off one half of play. Clippers ahead, leading by seven. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much, guys. Do a strong first half for this team. What was the mindset that gave you guys the lead? We just had to be ourselves, you know, just be ourselves, move the ball, place the unselfish, and uh, we're going to get ourselves an offense. Stay true to you, guys. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. And they had their fingerprints all over that second quarter, coming back from a deficit and building a seven-point lead. And let us get your thoughts, big fella, on the Clippers. Their efforts in the paint have really paid dividends. It's been a focal point for them, not so much for the other team. That's been the difference in the game. And uh, Kenny, what did you see from New Orleans? We haven't seen any urgency in this team so far. That's why they find themselves losing at home. They need to come out with some fire in the second half and let this crowd back into the game. Otherwise, they're giving away their home court advantage. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. It has been a clinic out there by Zion Williamson. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. 
And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Well, the Pelicans shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Zion at power forward with Valanchunas at center. It's Graham and Alexander Walker at the one and the two. And it's Hart in at the three. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Williamson misses. The Clippers in the lead. It's George on the wing. Covered by Williamson. George's shot is off. Here's Alexander Walker. And he's going for the lob. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. George, right side. Yes. And a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists now in this one. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. There aren't many players that have come into the NBA as a consensus number one pick like Zion Williamson did. Nobody was passing on this fellow. Offensive rebound. Williamson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Power and control from Zion. He's able to find a shot despite the foul. In that 2019 draft, Zion was surprised that every team in the lottery was hoping to win, Grant. And that added a lot of excitement to that night. I mean, when you've got a once-in-the-generation talent like Zion, the lottery becomes a major event. That's good from Williamson. Sadoransky, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Williamson hits them both. And if you're just joining us, we've played just over a minute here in the third. Leonard outside. The 11-footer. And yep, it's good. Kawhi Leonard. Leonard's got eight points. Masterful execution. Kawhi just has a sense for when to shoot the mid-range. And it's New Orleans ball. Nine-point game. Outside Graham. Pass to Valanchunas. Outside Hart. Five to shoot. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. And the basket by Williamson. I mean, beautiful execution from Sadoransky. Taking what the defense gives him. Leonard passes to Jackson. Connects from downtown. Jackson's got his second basket. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. To the middle. Here's Williamson. Basket's good. On the assist from Sadoransky. The explosiveness gets Zion through the contact. Defender didn't stand a chance. The Clippers call timeout. It may be a player's league, but the coaches obviously play a big part as well. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. Checked in for Grant. 
Okay, a chance to look at some numbers for Paul George. And he's been locked in at the free throw line for sure. In the past five games, his percentage at the line is much better than it had been prior. Sometimes that's how it works. You just get that extra focus at the charity strike. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. The Pelicans have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Inside, marked it down low that time, got hit with the three-second call. And now let's turn to the 2K leaderboard for a look at the squads that have the most points in transition over the past 10 games. Second, the Pelicans. Over the last few weeks, they've been high-flying, getting up and down the court with conviction. The Clippers have gone 3 of 5 from the field in this third quarter. Pass to Leonard. Jackson down low, covered by Sadoransky. And there's Jackson on the assist by Leonard. It's no secret that Kawhi has focused on improving his passing. Great look there. And everyone knows what an elite defender Kawhi Leonard is. I mean, he's a former Defensive Player of the Year, and he can still shape games with his defense. Book loose. Out of bounds. The Clippers will keep possession. New Orleans making some changes. Hayes comes in for Valanchunas. And it's Marshall in for Temple. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Ibaka's checked in. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Up top, George. He's covered by Hart. Four on the clock. Now here's Leonard. Tight defense on him. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. And with Leonard, he's just as sharp as ever with his stifling defense. Oh, his versatility is incredible. I mean, he can guard the toughest forward or guard each game. And he still has the energy to go out there and get numbers on the offensive end as well. Pelicans shooting about 41%. In the third. Two minutes. Pass to Sadoransky. Here's Marshall. Launches it. No good there. For Los Angeles, they've gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Throws it up high. Ali up top, hammer it home. And if you're the defender, you have to respect the ability of Jackson to finish. That opens things up for the assist. Timeout called. The Pelicans. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots, you have to want to make the effort. in for the Pelicans. Alexander Walker comes in for Marshall. For New Orleans, they've gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Here's Alexander Walker, defended by Kennard. Shoots from 12, buries the jump shot. Alexander Walker's got six. For Los Angeles, they've gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Now here's Ibaka. Defense right on him. Back to Kennard. Pass to Ibaka. That's tipped. Here's the break.
And here's Hernan Gomez. Hayes inside. Defended by Kennard. Hayes, shot's good. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting a remarkable 60% clip. Very efficient. Here's Bledsoe. Uses the glass to finish the layup. So. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. The Pelicans have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Pass to Hayes. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Hart on the take. Rebound by the Clippers. Here's Mann. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. The Clippers on top, leading by 14. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. And now let's listen in to Ty Lu in the huddle. You gotta make the right play like you've been doing all night, all right? They're gonna try to help and tag. You gotta make the right play, finish, or make the right pass, all right? Well, you gotta like what Ty Lu is saying, telling his guys to take what they see. Yeah, just keep it simple. Don't rush anything. Very solid advice. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. Luke Kennard out there with Eric Bledsoe. Then it's Serge Ibaka. Then it's Terrence Mann. And it's Batum in at the four slot. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Outside Hart. Let's it go. Here's Graham. And Bledsoe pulls it down. And stolen by Graham. Basket counts. In the NBA, you let anyone shoot inside five feet, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. Pass to Batum. Here's Mann. Back to Batum. Over Graham. Batum shot is off. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. We've gone about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. Graham, the pass to Hayes. Here's Alexander Walker. He's covered by Bledsoe. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. And for the Clippers, they're shooting 55% for the game so far. And Bledsoe hits from deep. Bledsoe. And the Clippers lead Three. by 15. To stretch out the defense, you just need enough guys on the floor who can make that shot. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Graham. The shot won't fall. And Los Angeles the other way now. Ball's going up the court. Ibaka's shot is off. Trying to close out. You got to know who's hot and who's not. Here's Hart. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first personal yeah, Grant, throughout your career, you mostly played in the smaller markets. You think the league is doing enough to help them compete? I think so. I mean, look, Milwaukee just won a championship. An incredible season they had last year. I think they're doing the right thing between revenue sharing, the salary cap, the luxury tax. And remember, the players' union will always favor freedom of movement for its players. The first one falls. New Orleans making some changes. Alan Chunas, he's checked in for Hernan Gomez. And Williamson is subbed in for Hayes.
He does not get the second one. The Clippers have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Here's George. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. The defense on George a little too tight there. But to have any chance against him, you have to challenge him. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Clippers. I mean, a fantastic game for them in open court. Their fast break points really stand out. Another thing, break, they've not only break. caused a bunch of turnovers tonight, they've turned most of them into points. That's good from George. So he's able to get one of two. Well, New Orleans shooting just 38% for this game so far. Alexander Walker. And again, New Orleans, no good. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. Good work there as it goes. The offensive game of Leonard continues to get better. He's just so efficient on this end. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. Out to the right wing. Down low. Here's Valanciunas. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Zubox. So it's the Pelicans now. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. He drops it from range. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. To the paint. Oh, got a piece of it. Out of bounds. The Clippers will keep possession. Clippers. He was all over that pass. That's a cautionary tale. A little bit late there, but you tried to get into your opponent's head. Forced them to go somewhere else with the ball, and he did that. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Pass to George. Let's go with a three. Yes, and a nice oh, assist from Jackson. And the Clippers lead by 17. Though he doesn't show a lot of expression, PG-13 is ultra-competitive. Claps back from distance. Here's Alexander Walker. He's guarded by Zubats. Graham with it. Shot clock at five. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Reggie Jackson. It's going to go on Reggie Jackson. And you think about the track profile of LaMelo Ball. Grant, the court vision has been as good as advertised. I mean, he's just a gifted passer who sees over defenders. He enjoys making those flashy plays. He's been everything you want from a playmaker. Free throws good for Graham. Both free throws good for Graham. The Clippers have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Two minutes remaining in the Jackson game. outside. Two minutes. There's a minute 54 left in the fourth quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. No one near him. Good on the jump shot. Gotta love how they've just maintained their intensity, even when they're this far up. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. 
Back to Graham. The Clippers grab the miss. Jackson with it. And it's Graham picking him up. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Clippers. Tonight, they got everybody in on the scoring. Had nice Marcus passing, Morrison. led to good looks. Just solid play by these guys. This will mark their 13th win of the year. Not a bad number. It's just the start of this season series with three games left between them. But it must feel great to take the first meeting. And what a huge performance it was for Paul George. What was impressive to me, it felt like he made an impact in so many areas. Some of the effort won't show up in the stat sheet, but I noticed it. Los Angeles has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Jackson against Valanchunas. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Nikhil Alexander-Walker. The seven-foot wingspan of Reggie Jackson makes him a bigger player inside. Helps him draw fouls. At the line for the Clippers, Reggie Jackson. Taking two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. And with Reggie Jackson, it's a testament to his natural talent that he often leaves us wanting a little bit more. And the Pelicans going with a whole new group out there. And so he hits both. Here's Lewis. Pass to Hernan Gomez. We've got 33 seconds left in the game. Now here's Jackson. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Left side, Johnson. Five on the clock. Rob! Here's Temple. So it's the Clippers winning this one easily. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Paul, what a great team effort defensively. What were the points of emphasis? You know, we do a great job of helping one another and being in gaps. And, you know, if we're going to get beat, it's going to have to be, you know, beaten by contested shots and the ball being swung. Um, you know, so that's what we have to do. We have to sit down, guard guys, and, you know, make them play on the offensive end as a team. Defense certainly has to be a full team effort, and it paid off tonight. Thanks, Paul. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thank